This is a quick review of fractions and decimals and how to read a conversion chart. We learn these concepts in school, but unless you've used them recently, your skills have probably become rusty. They are necessary for doing the work in our shop. So let's do a brief refresher. Although we often deal with fractions, not everyone fully understands what they represent. Let's take a moment to study fractions a little closer. Fractions are a part of a whole. Here's a whole pizza. We can divide it in half and remove half, and we will still have half a pizza left. If we divide the remaining half in half again, we would have two quarters, because they are two of the original four quarters. Let's cut our whole pizza into eight slices and remove four slices. We have removed half, or four of the eight slices, shown in this fraction as four eighths. We could also look at these four slices as being two quarters of the pizza, but we want to reduce fractions to the smallest numbers. In this case, the four slices are actually one half of the pizza. As you can see, all these fractions are expressed differently, but representing the same thing, half the pizza. Here's another whole pizza that we will cut into eight slices again. Each slice would be one-eighth of the whole. If you eat one slice, that leaves seven-eighths of the pizza. If you eat two slices, you've eaten two-eighths or one quarter of the pizza, leaving six slices or three quarters of the pizza. When you remove one more slice, we would have five eighths of the pizza remaining. Removing another two slices would leave us with three eighths of the pizza, but that would also mean that we have eaten five eighths of the pizza. The fractions three eighths and five eighths are reduced to their lowest numbers and can't be reduced any further. When you add 5 eighths plus 3 eighths, it equals 8 eighths, which equals one whole pizza. So that is the basics of fractions. Now let's see how we can convert them into decimals. The simplest method of converting fractions to decimals is to use a conversion chart. This is a typical conversion chart. It converts eighths of an inch. The column on the left gives you the fractions, while the column on the right gives you the equivalent decimal number. Remember, fractions and decimals represent numbers that are not whole numbers. Therefore, the decimals will be displayed with a zero, followed by a decimal point, and then numbers representing the fraction. Keep in mind that fractions are expressed in the lowest number. So looking at the chart, 2 eighths is shown as 1 quarter, and the decimal equivalent is 0 0.250. If you think of this in terms of money, 1 quarter of a dollar is 25 cents. We understand the relationship of 25 pennies to 1 dollar which has a hundred pennies. In decimal terms, this is twenty-five hundredths. It becomes more complicated when you add another number to the right, because then you're dealing with thousandths. Think of one inch as having a thousand units, but replace the comma with a decimal point. One unit would be expressed as point zero zero one or one thousandth of an inch. The zero next to the one is in the hundredths position, and the zero to the right of the decimal point is in the tenths position. Looking at the conversion chart, you see that three quarters of those one thousand units in an inch would be seven hundred and fifty, stated as seven hundred and fifty thousandths of an inch, because it shows three numbers after the decimal point. A similar chart is used to convert sixteenths of an inch to decimals. 
Notice, it doesn't list even numbers like 2 sixteenths because that would be the same as 1 eighth in the previous chart. 4 sixteenths, expressed in its lowest number, is 1 quarter. And 8 sixteenths is 1 half. And so on. Using these two charts, you should be able to easily convert most of the fractions you work with into decimals. To convert a number not found on the conversion chart, you would use a calculator to find the number by dividing the top number by the bottom number. Using 3 eighths for an example, you would enter the 3 into the calculator and divide it by 8 to get the result of 0 0.375. Using this method, you can convert any fraction into a decimal. So far, we've only been using numbers that are less than one inch. But remember, they can be combined with any whole number. For example, 20 and 3 quarter inches can be written in decimals as 20.750 inches and it would be stated as 20 and 750 thousandths inches. As you can see, fractions and decimals don't have to be complicated, especially if you work with them every day.